strongly an alert and knowledgeable citizen. It is not safe. It's not worth our lives. We don't want to be the human sacrifice zone. Yeah, and that's what we've become, or the human guinea pigs. We're still being gassed, we're still being sick, and the facility is still decaying, and as their own documents say so, and we're still all in deep, you know what, living next to the thing. I want to know that we're safe in, in, our, in our house, right? There, that this is poison, this is what we, we are breathing. So do something about it. I mean, we can't live here. For my whole life, I've never had these symptoms. All of a sudden, this thing breaks up, all of a sudden, my wife's got rashes, my black lab dies of a flesh eating bacteria out of nowhere, I got headaches. Dizzy, I, come on. Now. I haven't smelled anything, and I've been at the. Look at right there. I am sicker. And I asked the question, how many of you are experiencing health symptoms? Literally, everybody raised their hand, and I, in that moment, I was like so taken aback. I was like, oh wow, this is way bigger than I thought it was. This is way severe, more severe than I thought it was. I was in tears. I was in tears and I wrote an email and I said, I can't believe you people are doing this to us. You gotta fix this. Yes, I would love to get out of here. And I don't wanna just sit here and die because of that stuff. I wanna get out of here. You can't walk around with a mask. Can't walk around with your eyes covered up because they have your eyes burning, you coughing and she throws up all the time. This chemical that has polluted our water table here in Eight Mile. In time and here, and then again, it circulates through the system via the three-way valve back through the tank until we reach those parameters that you mentioned earlier. Few people have experienced the, the rash, the bleeding nose, the running eyes, the coughing, and all those kinds of things uh, throughout the community. This is a chemical, it's a hazardous chemical that has been released in our community that is making us all very sick. nauseating chemical, it has extreme health impacts, and when you breathe it, you get those health impacts. So that it's not something you should be living your life breathing. They need to stop letting it get into the air, which is causing all the health impacts that the citizens are experiencing. How long will it take to go away? Does it dissipate? Oh, decades, a century, forever, a long, 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 long time. Don't drink the water or bathe in it. It's contaminated. It's no good. Drilling and fracking operations, they contaminated our water. They admit it.
how many of you lost your water supply? And there are many more. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they sat here, I, I can't even pronounce the damn thing, but it's that long. He misses stuff in the water that he doesn't even know what it is. There's chemicals in the water that they don't know what it is. Wait a minute. Your CDC, ATSDR, and EPA. And you don't know what the hell it is? Houston, we have a problem. shouldn't be sacrificing people for our energy needs and that's like the bottom line.